What's up, everybody? I'm Mike Samich coming at you for RacingDudes.com, and today I'm here to cover the New York Stakes, the grade one on Friday's card from Belmont Park, and it's Chad Brown's world, and we're all just living it here. He has got a quartet of entries that are all have a legitimate shot at winning the race, but you've got to start with the number two horse, Regeer, an absolute standout for Peter Brandt. I bought this horse at auction, ran it back he ran her back in the Bengay. Now she's coming back here in a grade one, stretching out from a mile and a sixteenth to a mile and a quarter, but that should not be any issue. She's a group one winner at a mile and a quarter over in France before she got in the Chad Brown barn. So no distance issue. Really, the big issue here is going to be the pace. You've got seven fillies and mares that have no interest in being in the lead. Last time you did see Virginia go, Joy go gate to wire, but that was going 54 seconds for an opening half mile. So no speed shown at all on her part. She was able to just kind of gallop in front and be able to open up late, winning as a 45 cent on the dollar favorite. She's also out of the Chad Brown barn. She's three to one, your third choice on the morning line. Your second choice on the morning line, the five horse Bleecker Street, uh, who has done absolutely nothing wrong. Six for six in her career now. This four-year-old is just getting better with every single one of her starts. She's sitting in the morning line at five to two, also out of the Peter Brandt barn. Now, it's interesting because the fourth Chad Brown horse is all the way to the rail. And that's the one horse Flight Lady, also out of, for, owned by Peter Brandt. So he's got three in this race. And Flight Lady is really interesting to me. You're getting 15 to one on the morning line. And I think this is the horse that's going to be able to get the lead. She's going to be the one that goes from the rail. There's going to be an absolute dawdling pace. They are just going to walk the dog up front. And if Flight Lady somehow gets courageous on the front end, I think she's the horse that can spice up the exotic. So, look, I like Regeer. Regeer is an absolute standout in this spot. So I'm going to put the two on top of everything. But I think it's interesting if you want to put someone like Flighty Lady, the one horse underneath, got a 15 to 1 price there. Outside of the Chad Brown contingent, really the seven family way is the horse is probably the most interesting. Last time out of Keelan, just kind of draw a line through it. She ran into a horse, War Like Goddess. It's an absolute monster. Ends up running second to Warlike Goddess. If you go back to the race two and three back, she can improve off those efforts. This is a five-year-old getting later in the season, so it's definitely possible. She could make some noise as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and throw out Bleecker Street, who currently undefeated. So we're going to get a little aggressive here. But I'm going to put the two-horse for gear on top of the one-horse Flighty Lady, the three-horse Virginia Joy, and the seven-horse Family Way in the Superfecta. See if we can spice it up a little bit, get a couple prices in, and try and make some money, even though we have a six-to-five shot who's likely going to go off. It's shorter than that on top in the two-horse for gear. Thanks for joining me for this preview of the Grade 1 New York Stakes on Friday's Belmont card. Make sure you check out the YouTube page at Racing, Racing Dudes, or YouTube backslash Racing Dudes for all the previews of the big-time stakes this weekend. We'll have podcasts and live shows all week leading up to the Belmont. Good luck on the track. What's up, everybody? I'm Mike Samich coming at you here. And today we're excited to talk about a new partnership over RacingDudes.com, BetPTC. Uh, we just added, went into a partnership with them, allowing our users to be able to get not only a $200 sign-up bonus after they bet $750 on the site, but also a rebate. Aaron, you've been using BetPTC. Tell us a little bit about the rebate that you can get. Yeah, it's been absolutely fantastic. You get up to 4% on your win wagers, 8% on, on exotics. And the great thing about it is with a lot of rebates, well, you don't get them at all with some. And with some, it's, it takes a while for it to hit your account. Not with BetPTC. Immediately when that race goes official, A, you're going to get your payout, hopefully, because you've cashed your bet. But B, that rebate hits your account immediately. So if you bet 100 bucks on a race, guess what? Or, or let's say a win. You're going to have $4 in your account immediately when that race goes official. And like I said, up to 8% for exotics. It's pretty awesome. Make sure you check to make sure your state's eligible, eligible for both that PTC and the rebate since it does vary from state to state. If you're looking to sign up and take advantage of a $200 bonus, just click on this sign up now button here at betptc.com. Uh, make sure you enter out, enter in all your information, scroll down to the bottom, and make sure you include, include promo code DUDES when you're signing up to be able to get a $200 bonus after betting $750 that gets deposited right into your account. And then you're eligible to get rebates back as well. So make sure you give it, uh, give, check out that PTC and give them a shot to see if they can earn your business.